Hi guys, Frankie Appletech here. Hope you guys are doing well. And I just wanted to share a message with you guys. Brand new channel here. But just wanted to update you on kind of what's been going on this week. So this week, uh, if you've heard from my main channel that I did suffer an accident on Monday. I was kind of on the way home basically and I fell down some stairs, really kind of banged up my knee. Uh, basically was uh, in a in a pretty rough state that morning, couldn't walk, got x-rays done, MRIs. Luckily there was no kind of break or any kind of torn ligaments, but the good news is I'm on the mend now, I'm doing better, still on painkillers, still using a walking stick to walk around, and I'm glad though just to be feeling better and uh, you know just gotta kind of keep on the mend. But once again, appreciate all the support guys and uh, you know, for Frankie Apple Tech, just wanted to share a few points with you guys. Obviously, a reaction to this great iPhone announcement that uh, happened. And I did want to do a full video on this on this channel. But now I just want to share with you guys what my thought process is today. Because today is Apple pre-order day for a number of these phones. So first of all, we saw the HomePod Mini. And this was a pretty exciting release for $99. I do have a HomePod and I love it, but I don't use it as much, I think, because of just the lack of features. But I do think that having a secondary HomePod would be a great thing to have. And in the case of the pricing, in, in the case of the kind of the focus on audio and the focus on kind of creating uh, using intercom and these other systems, it's a great product I think for the price and if its audio is anywhere near as good as the regular HomePod then I think we are in store for a great product here uh, in the HomePod mini but obviously the star of the show here were the iPhones the iPhone 12 the iPhone 12 mini the 12 Pro and the 12 Pro Max and what can I say about these products that you haven't heard already just incredible releases across the board with brand new designs the blocky designs on these phones which look really good stunning stunning blue here on this iPhone 12. I actually like the iPhone 12's blue more than the 12 Pro Max with AMOLED displays across the board, A14 Bionics, brand new kind of wide 12 megapixel main cameras with f1.6 aperture. Those are going to be bringing in so much more light than any of the previous kind of main cameras on iPhones. Super excited about that. I think the reveal of the 12 mini was incredible because you're basically getting all of the same great features of the iPhone 12 into a smaller product that's even smaller than the iPhone SE 2. We're getting close to what I said was the, you know, that size of the original iPhone SE. It's kind of in between them. It's not exactly that small, but still a big plus for a lot of people. And then obviously the iPhone 12 I think is just striking a lot of key features. And when I, you know, I did the video earlier talking about why the iPhone 12 Pro Max was gonna be my main phone. But today on pre-order day, guys, I'm actually considering picking up the iPhone 12. So much so though, because I'd never imagined that the regular iPhone 12 model would actually have almost every single thing that I wanted out of an iPhone. And I've been using the iPhone 11 Pro Max, which is filming this video, for the past uh, year. And it's been a great device, but I will admit, despite loving larger displays, I do sometimes struggle using this phone one-handed. And the idea of using a 6.1 inch display, it's a bit smaller, but I think the one thing that I'm excited about is that there's no compromise on the display now on the iPhone 12. It is now using the same high resolution iPhone 11 Pro style display, the Super Retina XDR display, I can't wait to see this thing in person, but once you combine kind of the more squared off look and you combine the larger display, and I think another key thing here is the camera specs. The camera specs on the regular iPhone 12 are amazing. And one thing that I was really concerned though was that the 12 Pros would only be the ones getting all the great video features, which I value so much. It turns out that the iPhone 12 will also be capable of shooting in this Dolby Vision HDR setting. Now, we'll only be kind of limited to 30 FPS, but that being said, I still think that is incredible that it's being included in the iPhone 12s. I typically film most of my stuff in 30 FPS. Sure, be nice to have the 60 FPS of the 12 Pro Max, um, and telephoto is probably something I would also miss. But I still think this is actually a really compelling device with incredible video features. And so I think I'm going to do it, guys. I think later on this evening, I'm going to go for this iPhone 12 uh, model. Now, obviously, the 12 Pro Max is not out until next month. 
And so if in need be, if I really did feel that I'm missing the larger display size, then obviously I could definitely try to go for the 12 Pro Max at a later date. But I really want to give this iPhone 12 a shot. And so that's going to be my kind of plan uh, this evening. And the 12 Pro Max and the 12 Pro are still amazing devices. I still think if you're going to go for one of those, uh, the 12 Pro Max is the one to go for because it's got that new stabilization mode, sensor shift, I think it's called. You have the improved main camera with 47%, just a large larger sensor in general and you just have the first time that the 12 Pro Max is the best iPhone you can buy like that may be enough to eventually sway me in about a month's time but for now I think I'm going to go for the iPhone 12 and obviously the whole event I think was just done beautifully uh, Apple is just getting really good at these one hour events and I can't wait to see if we do get a November surprise event featuring other devices like John Prosser has mentioned like the AirPods Studio like AirTags and many more. I can't wait to see it. Obviously the first Apple Silicon MacBook would be an amazing thing to see. And we'll see if we do get this new event in about a month's time. Anyways guys, just a quick kind of update here video for Frankie Apple Tech. And you know what, I do appreciate the support for all you guys of this smaller channel. You know, it's been a challenge. There's been a lot of haters. There's been a lot of people telling me this was a mistake. Don't do it. But guys, I have a passion for Apple stuff. You see it right here. I just riffed, I just riffed seven and a half minutes off the top of my head of Apple related tech stuff. And I could probably spend half an hour just talking about Apple stuff. I always will have a passion for Apple tech just as much as I have a passion for Android tech. I love both. And so that's what the point of this channel is. It's not to try to, to deny, you know, the main channel uh, content. It's to really just give another venue, another platform for my passion for Apple stuff. So once again, thanks for all the support of Frankie Apple Tech. And this is Frankie Apple Tech, signing off. Have a good one.